The answer is it doesn't work very well. So the reason for this is that anyone observing these messages, given that there's only a small set, well, you can compute this value given the public keys of C, B, and A. You can compute the value of Xi for the three possible votes, match that up to the incoming votes, know exactly what they are, so there's no anonymity for the voters. So either A or an eavesdropper could do this. The second choice is a little more ambiguous. C could output any votes at once. There's nothing that verifies the votes that C outputs. But in this case, because the encryption is broken, someone looking at the votes that come in knows what the votes are already and knows if C cheats. But there's no point to the mixed net if this is what we do. So we need to do something different. This by itself is not going to work. What we need to do is add some randomization to our encryption.